All right, I've just been told in this office that this is not the place. Uh, or, well, it is the place, but I was given the wrong form, and I've got to produce like 20, 30 pages of uh, proof about myself. You know, they gave me the wrong list. Um, you, you have to understand I have no income, nothing. Uh, it's 10 euro cents a page for photocopies. I do not have access to my tax returns and things like that. Um, my spouse is abusive. And um, everything that I had copied in the dossier, as well as, uh, you know, police reports, uh, original, they have to be original, uh, signed statements with valid ID and stuff like that, by um, one witness to something that happened to me, who, and he's back in the United States, I don't know where he is. All this was lost by my subsidized lawyer here in France, who collected her fees for about six months and then dropped me for no reason. And uh, her supervisor is called Le Batonnier, and um, I formally complained about her back in September, I think it was, of 2010. No answer, nothing. I mean, I got one letter saying, well, she doesn't want to be your lawyer, so... You know, that's it. And I wrote back and said, well, you know, I have to use a subsidized lawyer. You know, even if I were to pay a private one, I do have a private lawyer, but it's for business things. She's not competent in, um, really, in labor law. Uh, according to French law, if you have a problem with a work situation, you must first go to a subsidized lawyer. It's in another city, another prefecture very far away from here. And then when everything uh, is finally sorted out, they will analyze what your means are. And uh, if you have some money, you will uh, pay a, a portion of the, the legal costs once everything is resolved. So, you know, I, I had to go to a subsidized lawyer. Um, even if I'd had a, a million euros to hire the best, it wouldn't have been the correct procedure. So I did what had to be done, and I understand that people have the same problem in England. You know, legal aid will carry you for some period of time and collect their fees, and then they'll just drop you. Uh, it's really disgusting. It's, it's a terrible waste of taxpayer money. And, of course, it doesn't do you any good, and we pay into it. It's, it's really just so these lawyers can collect fees. And, and really do nothing for us. So, well, I'm, I'm glad I came this morning. The, the pain is unbearable. I have a doctor's appointment this afternoon. Uh, taking one tramadol a day is just not working out. And somebody on YouTube contacted me and told me that um, uh, the, they wear off after six hours and you go into withdrawal. So I should either take like two a day or just go off it completely. I'm really annoyed because the specialist in pain put me on one a day instead of three. And my GP has been going along with this. You know, they don't even know about this medicine. I looked it up. This guy on YouTube is correct. You know, so I'm going to go see my GP this afternoon and tell him, you know, look, you know, I, I've been feeling terrible since November. Really, it, it feels as though I'm going through withdrawal every afternoon. I've, I've never, you know, been a junkie or anything, but it's just a horrible, sick feeling, you know? And, um, it's just, it's just really monstrous. Okay, talk to you later.